This video will demonstrate how to create an assignment in WebAssign. To get started, log into your WebAssign account and choose Assignments, then Create Assignment. Enter the assignment name and instructions for students. You can also embed or link to resources such as videos, Excel documents, and PowerPoints, or add an attachment to your instructions if you wish by clicking Include File. Customize the way you will deliver your assignment to students in the settings. Choose from a variety of different templates based on the type of assignment you would like to create. Each assignment template automatically populates the recommended settings for that specific type of assignment. While templates save you time, you can still customize the settings in the sections below. In the scoring section, control how the assignment is graded and delivered to students. In this section, you can not only determine how many submissions students receive and determine which score is counted for their grade, but you can also adjust the functionality for some of your specific goals. For example, under points adjustments, you can give extra credit to students for submitting their work early, incentivizing them to complete their assignment before the due date. You can also turn on show my work for the assignment, which we'll discuss in more detail when we get to the question settings. Last, there's more advanced settings such as numerical tolerance and the SALT feature for statistics instructors. In the cheating prevention section, you'll be able to customize settings that will help you limit or reduce cheating. Here you'll find settings such as the ability to change the way questions are displayed to students all at once or one at a time. Displaying questions one at a time makes it more difficult for students who are sitting next to each other to compare their assignments. You can shuffle the question order to prevent students from copying off of one another or randomize the question values so each student gets their own version of the assignment. And if you think students are looking up your questions online, hide the question name. In addition to these cheating prevention settings, you can customize the assignment restrictions on the class schedule page, which will allow you to set time restrictions, give extra time, turn on lockdown browser, and more. Lastly, in student feedback, you can control the feedback and help students access during the assignment. You can turn on or off these features or determine if they always appear, only appear after the due date, or appear after a specific number of submissions. Student feedback settings include the ability to determine what information is shown to students before or after the due date. This includes the answer key, as well as answer feedback and their total score. You can also choose which resources are available to students, such as practice another version or help content. Examples of help content include read it, watch it, and master it. Help content may vary from textbook to textbook. Once you've selected your settings, you're ready to choose your questions. Choose your textbook and select the questions you'd like to add. Keep in mind the estimated time it'll take students to complete the question and the level of difficulty. Use the question queue on the right-hand side of the page to keep track of the questions you've added to your assignment. You can change the question order, delete a question, or add questions to a pool, which randomizes which students receive which questions. When you're satisfied with your list of questions, click Update Assignment. You can always add more questions later. All of your questions will appear here, along with the number of points for each question. Under Submissions, you can adjust the number of attempts per question, which you may want to consider for true or false and multiple choice questions. Under Points, you can edit the number of points per question part for multi-step questions. In point adjustments, you can require that students show their work and give them points for doing so. Show My Work allows students to annotate their work using mathematical notation or by uploading a picture or file of their work. Here, you can also adjust the points per question, such as assigning it for extra credit or making it a practice question by awarding credit to everyone. In Help, Practice, and Hints, you can customize whether students see help content like read it at the question level. This gives you more control over the learning path and allows you to use techniques like scaffolding. In this section, you can even add your own custom hint for each question. Once you're finished, you can preview the assignment to make sure everything is correct and then save it. After you've saved, you can click the three dots to duplicate the assignment or edit the assignment privacy settings. 
Assignment privacy indicates whether or not instructors will be able to find your assignment. Once you're happy with your settings, you can schedule the assignment. If you're not ready to schedule it yet, click Save, and you'll be able to find this assignment under My Assignments later. Your assignment is now ready. For additional help and resources, please visit our WebAssign training and support sites.